Welcome back to a new video. This is what I wear in an extremely chaotic week of my life. I'm also packing for a New Zealand trip at the end of this week. So I thought I would vlog and share a few realistic outfits I actually wear. I'm wearing this navy Uniqlo t-shirt. I wore this a lot last week and went in the wash. And I've just been kind of like lounging in it. This cardigan is something I hand knit. I'm obsessed with the colors on this knit. I think the color details on the yarn is pretty incredible. And it's probably one of my favorite me-made pieces ever. And then these pants, these are from Indigo Luna. They're a bit sheer for me to really wear them out. But I love them as a lounge pant because they're so light and comfy with the best elasticated waist. I'll often build an outfit around one piece. So today, the piece I want to style is this top. There is something so magical about this top. And this skirt, because it's made from a merino cotton, it's stretchy, it's very comfortable. It's thick enough that I don't have to worry about what I'm wearing inside. It's just a dream. I'm out on my lunchtime break. I had a quick lunch at home, but I always like to get out during lunch. So I feel refreshed for the afternoon and evening. Otherwise I get very tired um, and very low energy. Let me show you what I'm wearing because I've layered on a few more pieces because it's winter here in Sydney. You might recognize this jacket. This is actually the one I got in Paris last time from Sassoon. And then I also brought this little hand knit scarf I made just in case it gets a bit cooler. Are we just I gave this navy sweater to my mum. This one's from Lily Silk, just because I have so many navy cardigans already. And I think it looks really nice. She's worn it with like corduroy pants. And this is the full outfit. All right, I finished taking just some photos and videos and I'm gonna grab a coffee before getting back to editing. I've been trying to make it a habit to get outside every morning, whether that's for a walk or just to stand out in the sun for a bit. And I feel like it's so good for me because it really does boost my mood, productivity, everything in the mornings whenever I do this. I'm wearing this morning this Vuori t-shirt, Evelyn sweatpants, and then this Lily Silk Cashmere knit. I think I've been wearing this every morning I've gone out. I am wearing the Cezanne set to film. It's that Sami Nail set that I love so much, but this time it's in a beige color. I think this set, along with the Betty cardigan, these are my Cezanne essentials and definitely the pieces that I would recommend the most because I just wear them so, so much in my wardrobe. I've just been at my desk editing after lunch, but I'm getting ready for Reforma now. And this is my favorite sports bra from Lululemon. This is their Like a Cloud 
long lines and they came out with this purpley pinky color that I really like see I hate pink but there was something about this shade that felt more like berry pink and I think it works really nice with grey This is my morning outfit today. So same pants as Monday and this colorful standard sweatshirt. I've got all of my jewelry on because I'm filming something for Majuri later. That's kind of my project for the day. But I guess the only thing I'll show you that's not from Majuri is this Jay Hanna ring. This is a little pinky signet with an H on it. And I love the engraving how it's a little bit of like a gothic style. It's 7.30 today and I'm just gonna literally sit here for 10 minutes before starting my day back home. I've been listening to this on repeat all week. It's all in our hands, this life of time That's given to us all It gathers round each night, each morn we watch it pass and grow It is all in our hands, it is all in our hands With every field and rising sea I've been filming all morning, so I've basically changed 500 times and created a lot of chaos. So let me show you. Hope's not lost, but found. It is all in our hands, it is all in our hands. I'm wearing this as on there I was wearing yesterday with this Ghani dress over the top. This is one of my favorite, favorite dresses I've ever purchased. And it's just this structured suiting material with the lace detail. This dress is definitely past season now, but I love being able to layer dresses over knits and t-shirts. We haven't caught up much today, but I'm just about to go out tonight. Um, my family and I, as well as my partner, we're celebrating my dad's birthday. His birthday is next week, but I'll be in New Zealand, so I thought I'd take him to dinner at a restaurant called Indu. I'm wearing the same dress as I did earlier today, but I've just changed out the base layer. I'm wearing this Uniqlo Merino knit in navy. The only other thing I've changed is that I've put a locket on this chain, so there's just a little bit more going on here now. For well, this perfume, you can see it's very, very new. I've barely used it because I only got it last week. The reason I fell in love with this is because they wrote the most tempting description I've ever read. I think it was like jazz bar in the 60s in Paris and I just had to go and smell it and I actually did love this scent for something for winter. I'm a sucker for very good copywriting and a good story. But basically, this is what I'm spraying tonight. This is my final look. Am I gonna regret not bringing a jacket? Yes. So I might grab one on my way out, but I'm wearing it with the boots again. These are really comfy. The only thing is I'm wondering if I'll overheat in the restaurant, but I think it will be fine. From any other old school date in Isabel. We are explorers, it's a different kind of love. And everyone is looking like we crazy. People just escape from the lonely. The way that you talk, the way that you move, you make fun of me while well, I make fun of you. But we always fit. It's 
It's about 10 o'clock now. I have been in my workout gear all morning. So this long sleeve top, I also have in the white. I think it's their swiftly crop top. It really like hugs me in. I almost feel like it's compressing without the discomfort and tightness of that. So I just find these super, super flattering, which is why I have this style in multiple colors. These are the Wonder Train tights, and I was trying to figure out today in class whether these are too big for me because I'll just notice a little bit more creasing than they used to be, so I don't know if it's stretching out or if it's just um, too big for me now. I, I can't really tell. There's just more movement than I want in a tight. I'm leaving tomorrow after lunch for New Zealand. I'll be spending about 9 days there and half of it will be skiing. The other half will be, I guess, sightseeing, road tripping. I'm borrowing my boyfriend's suitcase for this trip just because I think it's a little bit more practical. It's just the right size, that's all. I'll try it on for you later, but the first thing I've thrown in here is this Fair Isle sweater. Just because it is the most perfect piece, um, I think, for the snow. It's definitely got the winter vibes going on. Talking about this sweater has inspired me to wear this sweater today. Um, is it the best idea because I want to pack it? Probably not, but honestly, um, it's, it's all I want to wear today. <laughs> and I'm pairing it with this tiered midi skirt in white. I've just gotten home, it's only like mid-afternoon, but as you can see, it's getting a lot darker in the apartment. But got a little fringe trim, very subtle, I can barely tell. So while I was gone, I got a little parcel from Cezanne. Along the shoes I received earlier, I thought I would do a little Cezanne review unboxing with you. I'll try these all along with you, but I think the first piece is the Nelly blouse. And this also comes in white, but they sold out of the white, so I thought I would try this rosewood shade. I think this color has a very neutral undertone, so what I mean is that it's not very pink-leaning, and it's not very brown, orange, warm-leaning either. It's pretty much in the middle. This is what it looks like. Tops like this are my weakness. Um, but obviously, this is more of a statement color, and I think the color is probably the biggest thing um, for me to decide on this top. Of Cezanne's lace blouses right now, this one definitely stands out to me because it's got a lot of very intricate details and see how small all the details are? I really like that as opposed to like really big ruffles and really big details. Keep in mind that the lighting right now is very blue in this apartment so this top is probably coming off as more um, of a cooler pink. I think in daylight it will come off as a little bit more brown Whereas in cooler lighting, it comes off more raspberry pink. The next top is a classic white lace knit. First impressions is that this feels very soft. Yeah, this is 100% merino wool, so it does feel extremely, extremely nice. Um, it's not got any of that alpaca mohair itch to it. It's very soft. For this top, first thing I notice is that with the lace pattern, you will see a little bit of skin throughout. Nothing major to make it feel like it's too see-through, but a little. It's merino wool, so I feel still very warm in this if I were to wear it in like an Australian winter. The closest thing I own in my wardrobe to this is this Ralph Lauren knit. So this Ralph Lauren knit is cotton, whereas what I'm wearing is merino. But I do think that they have somewhat a similar function in my wardrobe. I kind of like versatility of buttons so that you can wear it for daytime, for work, button up, and then you can transition it into evening as well and make it feel just very flirty. This bralette, by the way, I really like wearing. I'm gonna pop a photo of it here. It's from Aerie and I love wearing it underneath anything that is very low 
or very open. I ordered so many pieces because I wanted to do a Cezanne try on review but a little change of plans so I thought I would just include it in today's video instead. Um, this is a stripe knit dress. I figured that I like my Leontine stripe so much. I've had it for like five years, I wear it too often. So I thought I'll try it in a dress and see how I get along. For this dress, I'm just wearing it with my boots because this is how I can see myself styling it if I were to keep it. The biggest thing that I was uncertain about were the buttons here. I know that it's such a classic thing, it is beautiful, but it just doesn't feel like my style. I think that's the thing. The shape of the dress is very comfortable. So I feel like it's not too short on me. I'm 5'3", 160 centimeters. It's a length where I can go about my day without thinking about what I'm wearing and without worrying that it's too short. It's one of those dresses where I could keep it and I think that I would actually get somewhere from it. But I really only want to be keeping things in my wardrobe that I am obsessed with and I am dying to keep. This is very much not one of those pieces. So I will send this dress back. I tried on this shoe with you earlier in the week and my opinion of them is that they are the most beautiful style. I am completely obsessed with this like chunkier heel. I think it's a little bit playful, which I really like. And not too serious and not too elegant. It's got a playfulness to it. Um, that comes from the chunkiness and the square toe that feels very my style. I would say the 38 here is maybe... Um, half size too big, but I don't want to size down either because I think it'll be too small. So don't get shoes that are too big for you, but I think this is just kind of borderline and it should be fine. I love the idea of wearing this when I go out at night or maybe like to some kind of show, which I love to see. And also as a wedding guest, if someone wants to invite me to their wedding. This is what I think I'm packing. I've got three bottoms, four tops, and a coat. I'm gonna try everything on now, so I figure out the outfits I'll be wearing. Sometimes this helps me reduce what I'm packing. Sometimes I realize it's not enough and I can add in a bit more. So let's try things on. This is going to be one of my outfits, I am sure. Fun sweater, sweatpants. This is my travel vibe this time around. I want everything simple and comfortable. I'm definitely packing this bag with me because it's flat. So super easy to carry around and use and not have to worry about. It also holds pretty much everything I need for a day out. I've checked the weather, it's similar to Sydney. So I will probably need this coat over the top of most outfits most days. If you just imagine, this outfit would definitely also go with grey sweatpants. It's kind of a no-brainer look. Let's just say I'm feeling fancy. I've also got a skirt option to wear with this sweater. So trying on another combination, I've got the other sweater with the grey sweatpants. Brown coat, same bag. The sneakers I was thinking of bringing with me are these blue ones. So with the navy, no problem. With this, we're quite colourful with the sweater. But you know what, I'm on holiday, I could do with some colour. There are days where I want things to be a little bit more elegant, minimal, simple. So then we've always got this sweater with the grey sweatpants, with the white sweatpants. They would all work. I can wear this with the navy skirt and that's probably my most put together look, which I can wear to any dinner. Alongside the sneakers are also my DeFrance's black boots. So these are going to be the two pairs of shoes I pack. It's nine days, I've got plenty of combinations here. And keep in mind for like four days, I will be mostly in ski clothes. This is my ski outfit. I really actually like this shade of blue. And I'm glad I tried it on because this is not my jacket, this is my boyfriend's jacket. So I need to go find mine. This is probably what I'll look like for most of the trip. Final outfit before I head to the airport. I'm wearing this t-shirt from Rollers. It's got this vintage print on it. My Everlane sweatpants, Everlane coat. Borrowing my boyfriend's Patagonia backpack. And here is my suitcase. Thank you so much for watching today's vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments down below. If you like links to what I'm wearing in today's video, they'll be in the description box down below. Have a lovely week ahead and I'll see you next one. Bye.